Hello guys. So today we'll be talking about uh, Python virtual environment creation and uh, Spacey installation on that virtual environment. So let us discuss what is Spacey. So Spacey is an open source Python library that parses and understand the large volume of text. There are certain features like Spacey is the best way to prepare text for deep learning. It incorporates seamlessly with TensorFlow, PyTorch, Scikit-Learn, Gensim, and rest of the Python's awesome AI ecosystem. With Spacey, you can easily construct linguistically sophisticated statistical models for a variety of NLP problems. Spacey excels at large scale information extraction tasks. It's written from the ground up in carefully memory managed Python. Independent research in 2015 found Spacey to be the fastest in the world. So there are certain features where it gives you waste result compared to NLTK. So you should use this one. If your application needs to process entire web terms, Spacey is the library you want to be using. Spacey is designed to help you do real work, to build real products or gather real insights. There are many features. So for more detail on Spacey, you can go through this Spacey.io. Also, I have written certain posts on Spacey. So you can refer this article. But uh, I'm going to create uh, the videos. Uh, on Spacey, so you can get it in the playlist in future. So today's scope, I will keep it limited with the space installation and virtual environment creation. So let us start with that one. So to uh, create the Python environment, you can open the command prompt and go to the directory where you want to create a Python environment. So I will be going to this directory. So let's start. So to create a Python environment, uh, you need to type like Python space uh, hyphen M space V E N V space virtual environment name. So I'm giving giving the environment name as Python hyphen M V E N V my space environment. Okay. So press enter and it will install. You create and meanwhile when it is creating so let me tell you one more thing like uh, before installing you should make sure like uh, python is installed so you can check like where it is installed and what version it is installed so using where command where python it will return you the path of the python and python space hyphen capital v it will give you the in installed python version okay so you, you can check these before creating the Python environment. Otherwise, the Python command will give you the error. So yeah, now you can see uh, this environment is created. So it will create a directory. Like if you see the directory name in this folder, so you will get like uh, MySpace environment, like directory it has created. Okay. So now uh, you can activate this. Uh, my script and it has activated the SPC environment. Okay, so uh, now uh, whatever libraries or anything is needed, so that you can install in this uh, environment. So the advantage of this, like uh, it will be uh, separated from your uh, system variable, so that if in future and uh, you want to delete the environment, you can delete it locally within your project folder. So that's the advantage. It will not give any conflict with other uh, version of the uh, variable uh, libraries or anything. So now uh, we have created the environment and uh, we have activated this also. And now the next step is like uh, creating the uh, Jupyter notebook on this one so that we can open Jupyter and work on that one. So if install Jupyter, it will take some time and make sure you are installing all the libraries already packed inside the environment. So first create and activate this and then install all the libraries. It will take few seconds. Let's wait. Okay. 
now you see that uh, this uh, Jupyter is installed, Jupyter Notebook, so you are good to go uh, using the Jupyter Notebook. So before that, uh, let me install the kernel because you see, uh, let me show you one more thing here. If you see right now here, so you won't see that uh, new environment created here. So the objective is like you, you can add here your newly created environment so that you can use the environment within your Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so that's what uh, in the next step we will add that uh, to the Jupyter environment. So for that you need to create a kernel. So pip install kernel inside this. Okay, and make sure everything you are installing inside the environment. the kernel. Now kernel is installed. So you need to attach the uh, environment to that kernel. So for that, we will use the command. So now it will attach the kernel. Uh, it will attach the environment to that kernel in the Jupyter node. So from here, if you open Jupyter Notebook, so it will create a new notebook in that direction. And here, if you see, uh, you'll get your uh, MySpace environment. So this is the new environment we have created before. It was not there, right? So here, if you see, here it is not there. But of course, if I refresh, it will come here. Yeah, it came here, right? So that's the idea. So that's what I wanted to show you. And now uh, you have your, uh, and, and it creates a directory also, you see here. So all the, I mean, all the soft uh, packages, library, anything you're installing, it will install inside this site package. Here all exists basically, okay? So now the idea is like, uh, we'll uh, use this uh, basics of basic. So here I have written all the steps. You can I will upload this notebook, and so you can follow. So uh, what remaining is like uh, we have created the environment, and the next thing is like we'll check like uh, where our executable exists. So if you run here, so, so yeah, we are still in old environment, so we need to change the kernel to our new MySpace environment. Okay. Now, if you execute the executable, so it will take the python.exe from your environment, inside your environment. Okay. Until now, we have not installed the spaces. So if I execute this command, it will give you error. So let me show you. Yeah, it is telling no module space exists. Okay. So we need to install the space inside this environment. So let me again open the command from. So inside this, uh, we'll, uh, we'll activate the environment first. So what environment we created? My space environment. And we are activating it. So it has activated. Now inside this, you need to install the space. You can install the space. I mean, for the user, it will install it in this user. Now it is installing. Yes, so it has installed the space. So now uh, the next thing is uh, we need to install the language model. So for that, you can use a Python hyphen M space download en. So we'll use the same command.
to it will download the English language model. You see here it is downloading. It will download the language model and it will keep within the same environment. So now it has downloaded, it has installed the SPC, and now if I am executing this command again, it will not give any error. It will run. See, it is executed now. Yeah, it has executed. And now uh, we can perform some basic operations on SPC. So suppose uh, you, you have a uh, sentence like Corona will go very soon, do not get panic. Cases in US have reduced in last 48 hours. You can pass any uh, sentence here, okay? And you use the NLP uh, word here because uh, we have loaded a spc dot load uh, in NLP object. You can give any object name. This is not this is not be fixed like NLP. You can give any object name. So I have given NLP. So inside NLP, you pass the sentence so that it will create another object like document. And then in, in document, if you iterate like token for token in document, you can print the token dot text token dot part of a speech and dependency. So if I am executing this, it is giving you the uh, token separately. See, it is very easy to get the token, tokens from this sentence. And the important thing to see here is like uh, after soon, whatever the dot is present, it has understand clearly like this is a dot, this is a full stop, not in between some abbreviation. And inside the US, whatever the dot is present, it is clearly understood like this is the abbreviation. This is not the full stop. So it has not made it separate. It has kept U dot S dot as a one token. So that's the advantage of using SPACI here. But if you do same thing in NLTK, it will separate, it will treat U as a separate token, dot as a separate token, S and dot separate token. Okay. So that's the advantage of using this library. And we have uh, some pipeline tokenization or many other things, so which will which I will talk about in next video. So I hope uh, space installation and virtual environment creation is clear to you guys. For any question, you can uh, comment. You can put in comment, and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.